Hey guys, another knife review of course. Uh, this one is on a little tiny guy. Uh, this is the Benchmade Benchmite 2, uh, part of the Red Class line. Uh, very, very affordable knife. Um, I believe, um, I want to say this was $20 on Newgram. Um, I don't have exact, you know, you can just go there and check it out for yourself. www.newgraham.com uh, I often shop there, but there's plenty of other good sites as well uh, where you can find these. Like I said, pro around 20 bucks, uh, but really, really cool, neat little knife. Um, like I said, it's the Benchmade Benchmite 2. The model number is 10610, if you want to search by that as well. Uh, this has uh, what the Benchmade calls a levitator lock. Okay, there's no pocket clip on this one, but it's so tiny. You know, you don't really need to clip this to your pocket. Um, I, however, I do think it would be cool if they uh, incorporate a money clip on the back. Uh, that probably, I mean, I'm sure they have no problem selling these anyway, but that would probably make them even more popular. Uh, and even more functional than what they are. I would say this would be a great, great knife if you can use that little lanyard hole, uh, pop a key ring on there, and leave these, this knife on your keys. It would be awesome. Uh, this one actually uh, locks closed. Uh, anyway, this is the uh, uh, lev levitator lock. Okay, so how, how this works is you push down here to release the lock, and that lifts the front bar. Okay, and what it's lifting is a pin. You see the screw here, the screw has a little pin on the other side. So this knife actually locks closed. You have to depress the lock, okay, to release it. Once this out, once this blade is out, it will lock open, of course. Now you'll you'll see this pin is it's kind of raised. You can see that right now, and you can probably see in there as soon as I open this up, that pin shuts. Okay, it goes behind the tang on the blade. So I'll give you another view of this. Hopefully, unfortunately, I can't get really good uh, close up, but see that pop in place. So this front scale drops down, the pin uh, locks in place, and then, uh, of course, you have the, your blade locked, which actually is a very, very strong lock. No blade play any direction. Uh, now, I figured out you can, even though this is, generally, you're going to open this up with two fingers. Um, <clears throat> you can open this up one-handed. I figured if you hold it upside down like this, you can use your pointer finger to push down and depress that lock, and use your middle finger, catch it, they have a kind of a nail nick here, cut out, uh, catch your middle finger on that, kind of push that blade out then you can switch your grip up and knock it out the rest of the way so you can use this one-handed it's a little a little bit awkward but once you get used to it it'll be fine and to close use your thumb kind of get a better grip of that use your thumb to press that lock uh, to close it so you can you can operate this one-handed it's just a little strange at first there we go get that lift that up there we go so uh, it's actually it's an awesome little knife. Um, total weight on this is only 1.6 ounces. Uh, very light, obviously very small. Um, the blade is an AUS 8 uh, stainless steel. Uh, the length is 1.92 inches. The handle is 2.83 inches, uh, making the overall length of this knife open uh, 4.76 inches. So a little guy, again, great, great knife for your keys if you want to throw in your keys or if you're really worried about you know having a knife that might get you in trouble. Uh, as far as local laws and stuff like that, I don't really see this being a problem anywhere. Uh, I do want to mention, someone had, had asked me uh, in a message not too long ago, uh, are you allowed to take knives anywhere? And the answer really is no. This is a general rule across all of the United States. Okay, I don't know about other countries, but as far as the United States is concerned, there's certain places you cannot bring a knife. Okay, it doesn't matter what your local laws are, um, you know, as far as like length and what kind of knife you can carry. General rule of thumb is you can never ever bring a knife into a school, okay? Um, a college is being an exception. Uh, most colleges will actually let students carry certain knives under certain conditions. Um, like, you know, I know for most, most um, colleges there is a blade length less than three inches and so forth. Uh, but I'm talking about like elementary schools, high schools, middle schools. It's, uh, it's forbidden. You can't, as a visitor or a student, you cannot have a knife uh, on you in a school. Uh, as well as public buildings, uh, being police departments, libraries, town hall, places like that, uh, they're mostly forbidden across the United States. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's not a huge deal if you accidentally do it, but obviously you can't be doing it on purpose. If you carry a knife every day and you happen to go to the library and it just happens to be in your pocket like normal, uh, you're not going to get arrested, I don't think, <laughs> uh, as long as you're not you know, starting any trouble. Uh, but te technically you're not supposed to have it in there. So anyway, that's a side note. Um, 
let's see, what can I say about this? Uh, comes razor sharp. It is in their red class. It is affordable. It is tiny. It does lock up uh, very strong. Like I said, there's no blade play whatsoever. Um, on their on their site, they say how because this is just nice and smooth on the back, it's ideal for uh, personalizing. Uh, you can engrave little messages in there if you wanted to. Uh, I believe for an extra cost, if you buy this directly from Benchmade, it's going to cost you the full MRSP, which is thirty dollars. Still, you know, very affordable. Uh, I'm sure they offer an extra um, service of engraving for you. Um, you see on the back here, it's marked, or maybe you can't see because it's too blurry, but it's a uh, McHenry and Williams design, uh, made in Taiwan. And again, the blade is marked AUS-8, so you know what kind of steel is on that. Uh, the thumb nick is actually pretty, pretty useful. Uh, if this knife did not lock in the closed position, uh, you can easily, you know, open this up one-handed. It would be no problem whatsoever, but because it does lock, uh, it's very awkward to, to, pre to press that. Like I said, if you flip it over, you can kind of get that. Um, so it's you know, not a big deal. You can use this one-handed. Uh, I would say this is a very useful uh, knife. Um, for the most part, you don't really need a whole lot of blade to do a lot of uh, daily tasks. Um, even this little tiny 1.92 inch blade uh, can handle an awful lot. Opening up mail, opening up boxes. Uh, for the most part, you don't need a massive blade uh, to take care of what you need on the course of the day. Uh, and like I said, it's user friendly. It, it's it won't sh scare any sheeple. Uh, <laughs> I always call the general public sheeple, non knife people, uh, kind of like sheep people. Be basically, uh, because for the most part, the general public is for some reason afraid of knives. Uh, they feel threatened if you're carrying a knife. Uh, they just can't get past the fact that these are just tools. They're tools that are good. Uh, you know, everyday everyday tool everyone can use. I mean, you can't go. I mean, if you think about it, you can't go more than two or three days without a knife of some kind, uh, whether it's in your kitchen, you know, or in the, who knows, you know, in the bathroom, you know, when you're clipping your fingernails in the bathroom, that's uh, another form of a blade, okay, so the knife is a man's most basic tool, and this is what, it, what got us started as a civilization, uh, so that's probably why I have the biggest interest in it, knives and fire, man's oldest tools. <laughs> But anyway, now I'm just rambling, so uh, there's not too much to say about this one. It's tiny, but it's definitely cool. It's definitely affordable. So uh, I'll stop uh, stop babbling, and uh, I'll let you go. That's the Benchmade uh, Benchmite 2. Thank you once again for your time.